Excuse me, guys. I have to go help that lady over there. I hope you understand. Mom, why is that lady using her outside voice inside the store? Oh, Mackenzie, that lady is what we call a Karen. They use their outside voices 24-7 no matter where they are. Whoa, they get to use their outside voices everywhere? I want to be a Karen. Oh, no, no, Mackenzie. You definitely do not. Oh, man. Well, I'm bored. Can you give me some money so I can go get some bubblegum ice cream? Yes, of course. Just make sure you come right back here when you're done. Okay, thanks, Mom! Hey, sorry, I was just helping another lady over there. How can I help you today? Uh, this store is severely understaffed. You guys need to hire some more employees. I was timing how long it took for someone to assist me. And I had to wait 2 minutes and 37 seconds. And that's 2 minutes and 37 seconds too long! I demand instant assistance when I need it! Sorry, ma'am, it, uh, won't happen again. It better not, little boy! Or you'll be out of a job. Anyways, I was just looking at your soda selection in the store, and I have to say, it's pathetic. I do not like Coca-Cola. Where is your Pepsi? Oh, we don't have Pepsi here, but Coca-Cola tastes the same. <gasps> don't you dare ever say that the two taste the same. That is so disrespectful. Alrighty then. Anyways, sorry, but we don't have Pepsi here. That's it. This store is the worst. I am leaving and taking my business to another grocery store. You just lost a valuable paying customer. This store is stupid. Um, excuse me. You just hit me with your shopping cart. Are you going to apologize? What do you mean? You ran into it. I was just standing here. <gasps> oh, don't you dare try to put the blame on me. I am the victim here. Ma'am, I'm not trying to blame you. I'm just stating facts. Oh, that's it. I didn't want to do this, but you leave me with no choice. Wait, what's going on? Ow! This woman assaulted me with her shopping cart. My leg. I think I'm going to have to get it amputated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I didn't assault her. I didn't even touch her. She ran into me. Hey, you. Over there. Useless employee. Who? Me? Yeah, you. You're the only employee here, idiots. What happened? Just call the police right we can't let this criminal get away! Moments later. Hello, I received a call of a reported assault here at the store. Yes, Mr. Police Officer, over here! <gasps> what happened, ma'am? Well, I was innocently shopping here at the local grocery store. You know, supporting our city's small businesses. Minding my own business when this crazy lunatic comes flying at me full speed ahead and smashes into me with her shopping cart. Then she proceeded to laugh at me and call me a loser as I lay here helplessly on the ground. Whoa, 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 wait a darn minute. Officer, that is completely false. This woman is a psychopath and is lying to you. Officer, just look at how aggressive she is getting. Clearly, this woman has anger issues. Oh, for the love of gosh. Mr. Grocery Worker, can you show the policeman the surveillance footage so he can see the truth? Uh, about that. Our security cameras are just installed to scare customers from stealing. They don't actually work. Well, I guess the decision here is up to me then. And based off of how both of you acted, ma'am, I'm gonna have to arrest you for assaulting a customer. Hands behind your back, please. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Get in the car. You won't have to worry anymore, ma'am. That woman will be locked up for a very, very long time. You can now come and shop with peace. Hey, mom. I'm sorry I'm late, but there was a long line at the ice cream store. Huh? Mom? Where'd you go? Oh, dear officer, I think that is her child. It's so unfortunate to see little kids being raised by mothers like that. I'll go break the news to her. Hey there, little girl. While you were gone, your mother had an angry outburst and decided to slam into this poor lady behind me with her shopping cart. I had to arrest her for assault, and she's going to be in jail for a long time. Huh? What? My mom did that? I didn't know my mom was mean like that. I'm very disappointed in her. Come on, let me take you to the adult. Option center. We will find you a new and better mom. Uh, hey officer, wait a second. My husband Terry and I have actually been looking to adopt a child. Why don't you just let us take her off your hands? Well, that would save me a trip to the adoption center. Hmm, what the heck, why not? You seem like an honest lady. She's all yours. Great, you won't regret this. Have a great day, see ya! Hey there, little girl. What's your name? 
name? Uh, my name's Mackenzie. Oh, gross. What a disgusting name for a child. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Hey, Mackenzie, how would you like to come home with me? Uh, can I use my outside voice inside? Of course you can. Then yeah, I want to come home with you. Great, come on, let's go. A few moments later. All right, Mackenzie, you stay out here for a second, okay? I'll tell you when to come in. Mm, okay. Harry, I'm home. Oh, hey, Karen. I missed you, sugar plums. Harry, what on earth are you doing over here? The neighbor's stupid kids are playing soccer in the yard again. I'm just getting prepared for if one of them idiots kicked the ball and it hits my car. I'll blow that soccer ball up with my gun faster than you can say chicken wings. Well, put that gun away, gosh darn it. I have a special guest with me here. Mackenzie, come in. Whoa, this house is so nice! Well, my golly, who do we have here? Are you just the cutest thing ever? This is our new daughter, Mackenzie. Ah, gross. Sorry, Mackenzie, but I just hate saying that name. You have to change it now, okay? Oh, but I've had this name my entire life. Mackenzie, this is a new chapter in your life, and because of that, you need a new name. Oh, okay, I guess so. Why not? Uh, so what's my new name gonna be? Hmm, how about we name you Karen Jr.? There's just something about that name that just has a ring to it. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. All right, perfect. You know what, Karen Jr.? Tomorrow, you and I are gonna have a girl's day. I'll take you shopping and get you a makeover. How does that sound? Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. But I have school tomorrow. I forgot you kids had to go to school. All right, fine. We can have our girls' day after school then. I'll come pick you up. Okay, sure, Mom. That sounds great. The next day. <laughs> Karen Jr., what's the matter? Why are you crying? <laughs> oh, nothing, Mom. It's just stupid stuff. We are going in. Until you tell me what happened. All right, well, just this mean girl made fun of my name today. But it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's just go have our girls' day. Oh, heck no. They didn't just make fun of the name Karen Jr. That's it. Take me to this girl immediately. No, Mom, please wait. That'll just make it worse. No one disrespects the Karen name and gets away with it. If you ain't gonna take me to her, then I'm gonna go find her myself. Oh, no, this is bad. Hey, you there. Are you the one that made fun of my daughter's name? Huh? No, I would never make fun of anyone. My mommy told me to treat others the way you want to be treated. I'm just standing here waiting for her. I can smell a liar from a mile away. Get over here, you little brat. This will teach you to never mess with my daughter ever again. <gasps> Mom, what are you doing? I'm just giving payback to your bully. That's not her. I don't even know who this is. Well, I'm telling on you to the principal. Karen Jr., we got to get out of here. All right, well, let's just pretend that never happened. Anyways, we have a fun day ahead of us. First stop, Starbucks. Hi there. Welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? I want a venti latte with four pumps white mocha, three pumps caramel brew or whatever seasonal sauce is available, stirred and not swirled with extra shots and soy milk, but with whip and caramel drizzle. Okay, is there uh, anything else for you? Karen Jr., what do you want? Uh, can I just have a pink drink, please? And a pink drink. All right, anything else? Nope, that's all. Great, I'll see you at the window. All right, that will be $10, please. Wait a darn second, $10? How much was my drink? Uh, your drink was $6. $6? That's Starbucks I go to only charges me $4 for the same drink. Okay, well then why don't you go to the other Starbucks then? Excuse me, young man, did you just talk back to me? That is no way to treat a paying customer. Come on, Mom, it's only an extra $2. You don't have to cause a big scene. Mackenzie, I am trying to teach you a lesson here that the customer is always right. We cannot back down to these big corporations. <laughs> Would you hurry up? You're backing up this line, woman. Oh, no, you didn't just honk at me. Who do you think you are honking at me? You've held up the line for the past 30 minutes arguing with the employee. Just pay the extra $2, cheap woman, and leave. <gasps> you wretched creature. I can do whatever I want. This will teach you to never mess with me ever again. Oh, no, my car. All right, honey, let's get out of here. But wait, I didn't get my pink drink. Forget about that stupid pink drink. That place does not deserve our business. Oh, okay. Come on, it's time to give you a makeover. Whoa, a makeover? I've always wanted one of those first stop salon my daughter over here would like a new hairdo fantastic what kind of look are we going for 
four. She would like a bob cut. Longer in the front and shorter in the back. You no, know, now that you mention it, just give her my haircut. Wait, Mom, but I like my long hair. Oh, come on, Karen Jr., what do you know? I guarantee once you get this haircut, the boys at school will be all over ya. Oh, okay, I guess. One bob cut coming up. Have a seat here. Alrighty, how do we like it? Uh... Oh, boy, it looks perfect. Uh, I guess I'll just have to get used to it. Come on, Karen Jr., it's time to pick out a new outfit for you. Oh, look at the sign. It says 20% off sale. This is our lucky day. All right, Karen Jr., go in there and pick out any outfit you want. Really? Anything I want? Yup, go have fun. All right, Mom, how do you like it? Cute, right? Hmm. Moments later. Uh, Mom, I don't think this outfit is me. Crazy talk. This outfit is gorgeous on you. We'll take it. Uh, okay, fine. All right, the total is gonna be seventy-four sixty-seven. How would you like to pay? Wait, what was that? Repeat the total again. Seventy-four sixty-seven, ma'am. Impossible. I just did the math on my cell phone. With twenty percent off the total comes to sixty-eight forty-five. So either you are trying to scam me, or you are just stupid. Um, where did you get the 20% off from? Her employee was holding a sign outside that said 20% off. The sign said 20% off men's clothes. Are you trying to tell me that I'm wrong? I saw what I saw. The customer is always right. Sorry, but not this time. You will have to pay full price. This is preposterous. I demand to speak to your manager immediately. I am the manager. <gasps> oh, no, you didn't. Well, then, I demand to speak to the owner of the store, then. Ha! Joke's on you, Karen. I am the owner of the store, too. No! That's it. I'm going on Yelp and leaving you a one-star review. But that's not all. I'm going to tell all the moms in my Facebook group to never step foot in this pathetic joke of a store ever again. Come on, Karen Jr. We're leaving. Okay, coming. Hey, girls. How was your day? Terrible. The service Everywhere today was awful. Our society is corrupt. Karen Jr., just go to your room and go to bed. I'm not in the mood for anything tonight. All right, Mom and Dad. Good night. Wow, my new mom is crazy. I miss my old mom. But I guess she wasn't who I thought she was either. Later that night. Ooh, I'm getting a little hungry. Mom didn't feed me dinner tonight. Maybe I'll just go downstairs and see what's in the fridge. Whoa, Mom and Dad are still awake? So, Karen, how did you end up adopting Karen Jr. anyway? Oh, you'll get a kick out of this. I totally scammed my way into adopting her. <gasps> Wait a second. Did she just say she scammed her way into adopting me? All right, let me record this. Oh, Buttercup, you gotta tell me this story. All right, all right, Sugar Plums. Well, the other day I was just at the grocery store already angry because the store didn't have any Pepsi. So I decided that since I was angry, I had to ruin someone else's day too. So I rammed myself into some lady's shopping cart. I fell over and blamed her for assaulting me. Then I called the police. And get this, Terry. The officer believed my story and arrested the mom. And to top it all off, I got her child, and now she's all ours, Terry. <laughs> Finally, a daughter to carry on our legacy. Oh, Karen, you're so bad. So, so bad. And that's why I married you, baby. You did what? So my mom was innocent? Oh, boy, how much of that did you hear? I got the whole thing on film. I'm taking this to the police station. Oh, no, you ain't, little devil. Terry, stop her. Ah! Help me, help me. My mom is evil. What's going on? My new mom, she lied to you about what my real mom did. What really happened was she faked her injury and ran into my mom on purpose. My mom is innocent. Whoa, that's a big accusation. Do you have any proof? Yeah, I filmed the whole conversation of her admitting it. Let me just grab my phone. <gasps> my phone, my phone, where's my phone? Oh no, I must have dropped it while I was running. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go find my phone. You looking for this, Karen Jr.? <gasps> Give it to me. Only if you come home with us right this instant. Officer, whatever she told you was a lie. She's just having one of her episodes. You know, little girls these days are all so emotional. No, she's lying. Ah, Karen, just the person I wanted to see. We actually have a warrant out for your arrest right now. I was just about to head over to your house to arrest you, but you just saved me the trip. A warrant for my arrest? I didn't do anything. 
anything! Well, actually, Karen, according to my surveillance footage, it looks like you did a lot of things. This right here is you physically assaulting a child at the elementary school. You left her with severe injuries, and now she is too traumatized to ever go back to school again. Oh, come on! I barely touched the kid! So you admit to it! Aha! But wait, that's not all. This right here is also you in the Starbucks drive through Setting a man's car on fire with him inside of it? I am placing you under arrest! You're coming with me! No, Karen! Come back! I'm gonna miss you! Oh, hey, girl! It's you again! I mean, since you and I are both gonna be locked in here for who knows how long, I think we should just get along with each other and become friends! Forget about what happened in the past! What do you say? A few moments later... Hey, you! You're free to go! Oh my golly, already? Not you, idiot. You're seeing in here for a long time. I think I'll pass on the whole friend thing. See ya! Hey, uh, sorry about the confusion. After tonight's event, I don't believe that Karen story anymore. I'm clearing you of your crimes and you're free to go. Mom! Mackenzie, I miss you so much! Oh, jeez, what the heck happened to your hair and why are you wearing that ugly outfit? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Come on, let's go home! <laughs> Baby, 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 oh, thought you'd always be mine. We love you, Justin! Justin, you're my idol! One more song, please! Thank you, Los Angeles! You guys are the best! All right, have a great night, everyone! Phew, that concert was exhausting. I cannot wait to go home now. Looks like Haley's calling me. Hey, Justin, how was the concert? It was good, babe. Can't wait to come home and see you. Do you think you could stop at the grocery store on the way home? I really want to eat cereal, but we're all out of milk. Yeah, of course I can stop at the store for you. Thanks, sweetie. See you soon. All right, I hope I don't run into any fans. All right, Justin, you got to get in there, get the milk, and then get out. Okay, so far so good. I got the milk. Now all I got to do is pay and leave. Oh my gosh, are you Justin Bieber? Hey, kid, keep it down, would you? I'm just trying to get some milk. I don't want the whole city to know I'm here. Oh, yeah, of course, Justin. No problem. I understand. Phew, thank goodness. Oh, my gosh, guys. Justin Bieber is in the grocery store. I repeat, Justin Bieber is in the grocery store. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my God, Justin. I love you. Uh-oh, I got to get out of here. Justin, come back here. Oh, no, I got to hide. These kids aren't going to stop chasing me. Where Moments later. All right, I think I lost them. I'm just gonna sneak back to my car and drive home. All right, I'm almost there and no sign of those kids anywhere. Look, guys, there he is! Don't let him get away! Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna leave my car here and run home! You can run, but you can't hide! I'm almost there! <sighs> Phew, thank goodness I made it home. We're never leaving! Justin, what took you so long? Did you get the milk I asked for? Oh no, the milk! Honey, we have bigger problems than your cereal. I don't think I can do this anymore. I've had enough of this celebrity life. I can't go anywhere without getting bombarded by fans. Haley, I can't live life like this anymore. I just want to be a normal person. Well, Justin, this is the life you signed up for. Well, I want to unsign up for it. Okay, well, how do you expect to do that? Hmm. How about we fake our own deaths and disappear into another country? Uh... Just hear me out, Haley. Tomorrow, we're going to take our private jet on vacation. While we're flying in the air, you and I will jump out of the plane. We'll have parachutes and land safely in a new country. The plane will crash and the media will think we're dead. And then we can start a brand new life together and be normal people. Justin, that sounds crazy enough that it just might work. Okay, let's do it. Yippee! The next day. Okay, Haley, it's almost time for us to jump. I brought some disguises for us. Once we land, we are no longer Justin and Haley. Here are our new identities. Uh, our new names are Dustin and Bailey? Are you sure we shouldn't think of something a little bit more creative than that? Oh, don't worry. No one will suspect a thing. All right, if you say so, Dustin. Come on, let's go put on our disguises. Whoa, I kind of like my new 
look. No one's gonna suspect a thing. All right, come on. It's time to jump. Are you ready for our new life? <sighs> as ready as I'll ever be. Okay, three, two, one, jump! Ah! Whoa, Justin, where are we landing? The ocean! Ah! Whoa, where are we? I have no idea, but come on, let's swim to shore. We need to find somewhere to stay so we can lay low for a couple of weeks. Good idea, come on, let's go. Meanwhile... Yay, the new season of Stranger Things is out and I've been waiting all year for this. All right, let me turn it on. Wait, what's this? <laughs> This Justin, we have received some very tragic news. A private jet carrying famous singer Justin Bieber with his wife, Hailey Bieber, has crashed. Police reported that the two died at the scene of the accident. Believers around the world are gathering tonight to mourn the death of their favorite star. This is Laura with Brookhaven News signing off. I love you, Justin. <laughs> <gasps> Justin Bieber? Dad? No! He was my favorite singer! Oh my gosh, could today get any worse? Hey Mackenzie, could you come here for a second? I have something to tell you. Sure, I hope it's something good because my idol just died and I'm so sad. Well, Mackenzie, ever since your father passed away tragically, I have been struggling financially to support you. I don't think I'm able to take care of you anymore. I wish I didn't have to do this, but I'm good to have to give you up for adoption. Wait, Mom, you can't be serious, right? Please tell me you're joking. I'm so sorry, Mackenzie. I wish I was joking. I know this sucks. Sucks, but it's what's best for your future. Oh my gosh, this is the worst day ever. First Justin Bieber dies and now my mom's giving me up for adoption? Could this day get any... Wait a second, I'm not gonna jinx myself anymore. Two weeks later. Okay, Bailey, how do we become normal people? Hmm, well, according to the internet, it says here that the best way to become a normal person is to have children. Where the heck are we supposed to get a child from? Hmm, we could adopt a child. That's a great idea. I've always wanted to adopt. Come on, let's go to the adoption center. Meanwhile. Oh, no one's ever gonna wanna adopt me. Hey there, my wife Bailey and I were we're new to the city, and we're looking to adopt a child. Well, howdy, y'all, and welcome to Brookhaven. You two are in luck. Mackenzie over there just arrived here last week. Her old mom couldn't afford to take care of her no more. She looking for a forever home now. Would you guys like to meet her? Yes, Dustin and I would love to meet Mackenzie. Mackenzie, get your butt over here. There's a couple here who would like to meet you. Wait, what? A couple wants to meet me? Hey, Mackenzie, I'm Dustin. Justin. And this is my wife, Bailey. Do you want to come home with us? Hmm, I guess. You guys look like pretty cool people, so why not? Wow, congratulations, y'all. Good luck on your new family, you guys. Come on, Mackenzie, let's go. Whoa, you guys, this house is so cool. It's purple, my favorite color. Well, welcome to your new home, Mackenzie. Why don't I show you up to your room and let you settle in? Bailey will make us dinner and we can all eat together and get to know each other. Come on, follow me. Welcome to your room, Mackenzie. Why don't you unpack, change into some comfy clothes, and join us downstairs for dinner? Wow, that's all so amazing. Thank you so much. See you downstairs. Wow, I can't believe we pulled this off. I honestly did not think we would get this far. Yeah, at first I thought your plan was crazy. But now everyone thinks we're dead. We can finally live a normal life now. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Hey, guys, so what's for dinner? <gasps> Uh, Mackenzie, what are you wearing? Oh, what, this? Yeah, I got it at the Justin Bieber concert. I'm like the biggest believer in the whole wide world. And like, not to brag or anything, but I run one of the biggest Justin Bieber fan pages. He even liked and commented on one of my pictures once. <sighs> but I can't believe he died. Uh, Mackenzie, hold that thought. Haley, uh, I mean Bailey, can I speak to you in private for a second? Uh, of course, coming. We'll be right back, Mackenzie. Bailey, what did we just do? Out of all the the kids we could have adopted. We chose to adopt a Justin Bieber super fan. Okay, Justin, this is bad. Real bad. It's only a matter of time before she figures out that you are Justin Bieber. Then she'll blow our covers. Oh no, that would ruin everything. Bailey, we could go to jail for faking our deaths. All right, we have to get rid of Mackenzie immediately. I'm too good looking to go to jail. Me too. My pretty face wouldn't last a day in prison. Okay, follow my lead, Dustin. What were you guys whispering about over there? Oh, uh, uh, Dustin and I were just thinking of 
where to take you for dinner. And since it's a special day, we thought maybe we would treat you to ice cream for dinner. Whoa, ice cream for dinner? You guys are the best parents ever. Yeah, come on, let's go. Ice cream, ice cream. Okay, Mackenzie, order whatever you want. Whoa, whatever I want? Okay, I'll get bubblegum ice cream, please. That will be $1, please. Oh no, Dustin! I think we forgot our wallet in the car. Come on, let's go get it. All right, Mackenzie, you stay here. We will be right back. Okay. Quick, Dustin, step on the gas. Let's get out of here. Bailey, that was genius. Good thinking. Well, that was easier than I expected. Come on, let's go back inside. <gasps> I beat you guys home. What? How the heck did you get in here? I saw your car driving off, so I took the shortcut home. The ice cream lady gave me a cone for free, so I thought I'd save you guys the trip and just meet you back here. Oh, wow. That's so nice of her. Okay, hold that thought. I've got to go make a call. Uh, okay. Who are you calling? Okay, well, this is kind of embarrassing, but I found Justin Bieber's phone number on the dark web. And ever since he died, I've been calling him every single night in hopes one day he'll pick up the phone. I'm just not ready to believe he's not here with us anymore. Psst, Dustin, you remember to change your phone number, right? All right, let me call him. Uh, are you gonna get that? It's kind of rude to leave someone hanging like that. Oh, uh, no, I'm spending time with you. That would be rude. I'll just call them back later. Uh, doesn't seem like he's answering me today. Whoa, that was weird. Your phone stopped ringing right when I hung up. Mm, must have been a coincidence. Phew, thank goodness. First thing tomorrow, I'm changing my number. You know what? I'm gonna call him one more time. I normally call him twice, just in case. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a second, this is getting creepy. Your phone just rang again. Hmm. Wait, what? All right, how do you have Justin Bieber's phone? Wait a second. Dustin, Bailey, Justin, Haley? Oh my gosh, my dad is Justin Bieber! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my dad is Justin Bieber! I cannot believe this is happening! Oh my gosh, this is insane. I'm like your biggest fan, but you're kind of my dad, so that's kind of weird. And you guys adopted me and you faked your death, and now we're here, and now you're Justin Bieber! Mackenzie, please calm down. Yes, it's me, Justin. Haley and I really wanted to live a normal life, so we faked our death and ended up in Brookhaven. Please promise me you won't tell anyone, or else we could get in big trouble. Uh-oh, I already tweeted about it. But don't worry, I can quickly delete it. It's only been up for like a minute. I'm sure no one's seen it yet. Okay, please, quickly delete it. Oh, shoot, it already has like 10,000 retweets. Yup, it's going viral. <laughs> FBI, open up! Justin and Haley Bieber! Uh-oh! I am placing you two under arrest for faking your deaths. And I oop? Our spaceship is malfunctioning! We're going down! Grace Bird is hot! Huh? What's that noise? Ah, oh, something's crashing into our lake! Oh my gosh! Honey, something crazy just crashed into our lake! Oh my gosh, let's go see what it is! Okay, Fred, grab the spare engine from the back of the ship so we can fly out of here. Wait, I thought you packed the second engine. Oh my gosh, you idiot, I told you to do it before we left. Uh-oh, my bad. Oh my gosh, you imbecile. Whatever, it's okay, let's just swim to shore and use our alien transmitter to call for help. Oh my gosh, what is it? I think I see something, come on. Ah! 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 some bad news. I don't think these things are water resistant. It must have broke when we crashed into the lake. Oh my gosh, are you serious? What are we gonna do? How is anyone gonna know we're here? Meanwhile... Mom! Dad! I'm home from school! Wait, Fred, someone's here. It sounded like a child. Wait, do you think these are the parents? Come on, we can't be seen. Let's go hide. Come in here. Come in. Mom? Dad? Are you guys home? Uh, Mom? Dad? Why aren't you guys moving? Wait a minute, are we playing freeze tag? I can do it too. See? <laughs> uh, chill. Fred, what the heck was that? Sorry, Bob. I think I have allergies. What the heck was that noise? Is someone else in here? Hello? I know someone's in here. 
here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <gasps> ah! 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 Oh my god, are you guys aliens? All right, Bob, let me deal with this. I know you can't. She's just a kid. You might kill her. Oh my gosh, you're like, what planet are you guys from? Wait, let me guess. Mars, Jupiter, Uranus? Actually, hold that thought. I gotta call my best friend, Sky. She loves aliens, and she always tells me they're real, but I never believed her until now. She's totally gonna freak out. Okay, stay right there. I'll be right back. No, stop. You can't tell anyone we're here. No one can know us aliens actually exist. Oh, come on. Sky's my best friend, and we tell each other everything. I'll make sure she pinky promises that she won't tell anyone. Huh? What's a pinky promise? What's a pinky promise? Aren't you guys, like, best friends? You've never pinky promised before? Little girl, I think you forgot. We are aliens. We don't do the same human traditions like you. Okay, anyways, a pinky promise is like a secret you take to the grave with you. And if anyone breaks the pinky promise, it pretty much means you're not friends anymore. So what I'm saying is you can trust Sky. She won't tell anyone about you guys. Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't trust you humans. Oh, come on, Bob. Loosen up a bit. Don't be such a buzzkill. I want to meet her friend. <sighs> okay, fine. But if anything happens, this is your fault, Fred. Oh, OMG, yippee! She's going to be so excited to meet you guys. Okay, I'll be right back. Are all humans that annoying? They just don't stop talking. You know what, Bob? I actually don't mind it. I've always wanted someone to talk to. You always tell me to shush up. Hey, Mackenzie, what's up? Sky, guess who's at my house right now? Uh, okay, um... Okay, fine, I'll just tell you. So there's two aliens in my bedroom right now, and you have to come see. Wait, aliens? No way, I'm coming right now. Aliens, here I come! Hey, where do you think you're going? There are two aliens at Mackenzie's house, and I gotta go see them. Bye! All right, honey, have fun. Oh, kids and their imaginations these days. <laughs> Moments later. Okay! this. Don't worry. I've been practicing for this moment all my life. Greetings, aliens. I am Sky. I come in peace. Uh, kid, we understand English. Oh, yeah, right. I knew that. Sky, you have to pinky promise you won't tell anyone about this. Wait, what? The whole world needs to know. Sky. Okay, fine. I pinky promise. Okay, anyways, Mr. Alien Sir, what are you guys doing here on Earth? Are you trying to take over our planet or eat our brains? No. Our spaceship malfunctioned and crashed into the lake. And our alien transmitter has water damage. So we have no way to contact our friends to come pick us up. So what Bob is trying to say is that we're stuck here until we can fix our transmitter. Let me take a look at your transmitter. Um, okay. What the heck do you know about alien technology? Don't underestimate me, okay? Ah, I know just the guy who might be able to fix this. Wait a second, Mackenzie, where are your parents? Ah, right, my parents. Parents. Here, I'll show you. Whoa, what happened to them? Oh, don't worry about them. They'll be fine. We just had to wipe their memory. They're both in a deep sleep right now. But they'll be up in a couple of hours and won't remember a single thing. Okay, anyways, can you take us to your friend who can fix our transmitter? We really want to go home. Yes, of course. Come on, follow me, guys. Wait, they can't just go out in public like this. You're right. We need to get them disguises. My dad should have some clothes. Come on, back upstairs. Okay, you guys can borrow whatever you guys want. Ew, you humans have terrible fashion sense. Ha! <laughs> Coming from you two? Like, really? Green on green? What is this? St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, 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 whatever. Ooh, I like this outfit. All right, how do I look, guys? Whoa, look at you, Fred. You look so handsome. Looking fresh. Aw, shucks. Come on, Bob. Pick something already. Okay, okay, fine. All right, how is this? <laughs> Nothing. Come on, let's go, guys. All right, guys, this is the place. Come on, let's go in. Jason, I need your help. Oh, hi, Sky. What do you need? Well, my two friends over here broke their device, and I was wondering if you could help fix it. Two friends? I don't see anyone. Fred, Bob, you guys can come down. Don't be shy. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, hi there. Let me take a look at that device. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, here you go. Wait a second. This is an alien transmitter. Only aliens have this device. Are you guys 
Aliens? Yes, we're aliens. But can you fix it or not? Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, I can fix it, but it'll take a couple of hours. I can call you, Sky, when I'm done. A couple of hours? That's fine. Maybe we can show you guys around town in the meantime. That would be so much fun. Come on, Bob. Please. Uh, okay, fine. You have a couple of hours, kid. Yay, okay, come on, let's go. Come on, guys, we should go for ice cream. What is this ice cream? cream you speak of. What? Ice cream? You guys don't know what ice cream is? You guys don't have ice cream where you're from? Nope. We've never heard of this ice cream before. All right. That's it. We're going to get some ice cream. Come on. Follow us. All right. Go ahead and order whichever flavor you want. Fred, you go first. I'm nervous. Don't mind if I do. Hello, sir. What can I get for you today? Why, hello there. May I get the brains flavor, please? Ha <laughs> ha! What a funny guy. Such a comedian we have over here, eh? What my friend Fred meant to ask for was a bubblegum flavor. You know what, Fred? Maybe it's best if you and Bob take a seat. And I'll just order for you guys. Oh, okay, yeah, that works. Hi, can we just get four bubblegum ice creams, please? Yes, of course, coming right up. All right, go ahead, you can try it. Do we just lick it? Yeah, just do what we do. All right, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Whoa, Bob, we really need to bring this back to outer space. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, my head, what is happening? It burns. <laughs> Look at them, Scott. It looks like our alien friends got their first brain freeze. You guys are supposed to eat the ice cream that fast. Oh, thank God that is over. That was the worst pain I've ever felt. Let's go get more ice cream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Bob. Too much ice cream isn't healthy for you. My mom told me I can only have one scoop per day. Come on, let's go see a movie instead. I think The Lion King is playing. The Lion King? You humans got some stupid names for movies. Moments later. <laughs> too much. Do you guys think we can get a picture together? Ooh. That was asking for too much. Whoa! Do it again, do it again, do it again! No, please don't! Let's go! So this is goodbye, I guess. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys. Me and Bob had so much fun. Right, Bob? Yeah, you know what? You humans are not too bad after all. Will we ever meet again? Yes, we will come back. Promise? Pinky swear. Aw, yay! Okay, come on, Fred. We have to leave now. Our spaceship is ready for us. Bye, guys. All right, come on now, Sky. Let's go see if my parents are awake yet. Hello? Hey, Mackenzie. What did you get up to today? Oh, nothing. Me and Sky just did homework, and now we're gonna go upstairs and play Roblox. Right, Sky? Uh, Sky? Hmm, maybe she just went home. She was probably tired. Those humans were really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna miss them, Fred. Hey, guys, thanks for letting me take along. Where are we going next? Mars? Jupiter? Uranus? Ah! Hey, Instagram. Kylie Jenner here, reminding you that my new makeup line is live at Sephora. Hey, Kylie, do you think my hair still looks cool? What? I mean, I've been rocking these braids for a couple of years, and I was thinking of changing things up. Oh, honey, everyone loves the Travis Scott braids. Don't change them. I want to go full bald. Ah, uh, don't do that, Travis. Hmm, okay. Hey, babe. Yes? I wrote a new rap. That's good for you, babe. Do you want to hear it? Ugh, fine. Hi, so you know how I have the rodeo burger at McDonald's? Yep, it's all you talk about. Well, why wouldn't I talk about it? It's a delicious mix of hamburger, bacon, cheese, and barbecue sauce. Travis, stop doing a commercial. 
sorry. Well, I was thinking I could do more raps about fast food. So here's what I call the Taco Bell rap. Are you ready? Yes. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, love the taste, love the smell. Chalupa, Gordita, I'd like to meet ya. I'm a man who likes to have fun. So next time you see me, think outside the bun. So, what you think? Um, uh, maybe give it another rewrite. Oh, uh, you never support my music. Why are you being like this? I guess I'm just feeling a bit bored. Have you ever thought about us having another baby? Oh, babe, I would, but I'm really busy with all these fast food endorsements right now. I have to write a song for Wendy's and Chick-fil-A. And Chipotle wants me to write a whole album for them. But wouldn't it be great to have, like, another kid? Oh, uh, babies are so loud and annoying. Well, uh, what if we didn't get a baby? What if we got, like, a 12-year-old girl who wants to be a makeup guru or something? Well, good luck finding her. Ah, uh, fine. I'm gonna go shopping. But you're always shopping. I always need precious new looks. Uh. Okay, fine. Well, while you're out, can you scope out that new Arby's? I heard they have a new beef and cheddar that would be great inspiration for a song. Whatever. Meanwhile. I'm sorry, Mackenzie. It looks like nobody is coming to adopt you today. Ugh, that stinks. Don't worry, Mackenzie. I'm sure somebody will see what a special little girl you are. Thanks, Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am. Now, uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a nap in the back room. It's depressing seeing you not get adopted every day. Okay, well, it's depressing not getting adopted every day. Yeah, whatever. Uh, all alone again? What's a girl gotta do? <gasps> I know, I'll make a TikTok. That'll cheer me up for sure. What's up, TikTokers? Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a smoky eye. First, you prime your eye with concealer and then apply an overall eyeshadow. Next, apply the highlight and line the eye. <gasps> Whoa, that's like a fierce makeup look. <gasps> oh my gosh, are you Kylie Jenner? The one and only. What are you doing in Brookhaven? Well, me and Travis have a summer home here. Sometimes you just need to get away from it all. Oh, totally. So, do you like work at this adoption center? Please, I wish, but I'm trying to get adopted. How could a cool girl like you not be adopted? I don't know. I guess people don't really want a 12-year-old girl who has aspirations of becoming a makeup guru. Wait a second. I want a 12-year-old girl with aspirations of becoming a makeup guru. Do you want to be adopted by me? Oh, uh, of course I do. Ooh, Mrs. Adoption Lady Ma'am. Guess who's getting adopted? Oh, thank Lord, because if you were here for one more week, we were gonna have to send you off to the army. What? Uh, Kylie, let's get out of here. A few moments later. So, this is the place. Oh my gosh, it's huge. You've got a big screen TV, a pool, and oh my gosh, is that a horse? Yeah, his name is Chris Humphreys. Huh? Oh, it's an inside joke from like 10 years ago. So where's your Travis Scott? Uh, he's off writing a song about Big Macs. Don't ask. Wow, I can't believe I'm so lucky. So what are you working on right now? Well, I've got a brand new line of makeup coming out soon. Ooh, it would be so awesome if I could try it out. Okay, but be careful. This stuff is pretty hard to work with. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. Moments later. So, how do I look? Well, you certainly used all the makeup products. Oh no, I look bad, don't I? Hey, it's tough being good at makeup. Uh, here, let me make some adjustments. And there you go. Wow, thanks Kylie. This has already been the best day ever. Well, let's keep this train rolling. Do you want to go to the water park? Do I ever? Well then, let's go. Grab your swimsuit. Hey, Kylie, how's it going? You ready to shoot this episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians? Oh, no. Was that today? I totally forgot. Yup, we've got you scheduled to shoot today for the next four hours. Uh, do we have to? 
Kylie, you signed a contract that said every aspect of your life will be recorded for the E! Network. You don't want to make the E! Network mad, do you? No, never. Then great, let's get shooting. And who is this little bundle of joy? Hi, I'm Mackenzie. She's my new daughter. I just adopted her today. Wait, so you mean to tell me there's a new member of the Kardashian family? We're going to make so much money. What? Um, nothing. So, sweetie, how would you like to be on television? Um, I guess that would be cool. Great. Here's the contract. Just sign here and initial here and sign here and initial right here. Great. Now we own your life rights forever. What? Don't worry about it. Okay, so what are we shooting today? Well, like I said, we were going to go to the water park. Is there any drama at the water park? Well, no. Well, then that's not going to work. Keeping up with the Kardashians is all about drama. So here's what we're going to do. Little girl, what food do you like? Um, waffles? Great, waffle drama. So, little girl. My name is Mackenzie. Right, uh, you're gonna be upset because your mom here ate all of the waffles. And Kylie, you're gonna be upset because you don't think your little girl should be eating waffles. Whatever. Then you'll have a big fight. So wait, we're just lying? Lying? No, just think of it as stretching the truth for entertainment. Also, you just signed a contract saying you would do this, and I could totally sue you if you don't. Well, I guess I don't have a choice then. You really don't. All right, everyone, places! <laughs> this week on Keeping Up With The Kardashian, Kylie's new daughter, Mackenzie, wants waffles. Mm. Waffles. But her mom already ate the last waffle. I already ate the last waffle. Tune in for all the drama right now on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Um, Mom, I was hoping to eat some waffles, but the freezer's empty. That's because I already ate the last waffle. What? I was hungry. You're such a bad mom. You're such a bad kid. <laughs> over here and brought some of my own. Wow, thanks, Mom. You saved the day. And cut! That was great, girls. This is gonna make everyone at E very happy. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time for more drama. Jeez, that was exhausting. I don't know how you guys do that every day. Well, it's an easy way to make a living. Thanks for coming over, Kim. No problem. Anything to help the Kim Kardashian brand? out. You know I love the attention, girl. I'll see you two back in Hollywood. Bye! After all of that, I think I'm ready for a nap. Oh, there's no time for a nap. We've got a fashion show to get to. Oh, wow! A real-life fashion show? Yep, and I'm the lead model. Now, let's go! Wait, before you leave, I got some Travis Scott burgers while I was out. But honey, we just ate bunch of waffles for the TV show. Please eat some Travis Scott burgers. If you don't, they'll stop making them and I'll go broke. Ugh, fine. I'll just have one. Then we're going to the fashion show. Later that night. Whoa, a real life fashion show? Who is this for? It's a collaboration between Gucci and Louis Vuitton. Super high-end stuff. Whoa, I don't feel so good. I'll be right back. Why, hello there. You must be Mackenzie, Kylie's new daughter. The whole internet is going crazy for you. They are? Yes, all the waffle drama on Keeping Up With The Kardashians is trending on Twitter. I can see you becoming a big star. Wow, well, thanks. Speaking of big stars, where is my main model? Where is Kylie? Um, she stepped away into the bathroom. Let me go grab her. A few moments later. Um, Kylie, are you doing all right? Mackenzie, I feel super duper sick. I think it was all those waffles and the Travis Scott burger I ate. Oh no, do you want me to tell them to cancel the 
fashion show? No, there is a lot of writing on this fashion show. I'm going to need you to be the main model. Me? But I've never modeled before. You'll do great. Remember, you're a Jenner now. Uh, okay. Moments later. Oh, gosh, I'm so nervous. I hope I do well. Now, without further ado, we'd like to introduce our final model of the night, Mackenzie. Here goes nothing. Wow, she is so elegant. She's got her mother's style. She's a star in the making. And that does it for tonight's fashion show. Please grab a complimentary gift basket on the way out. And don't forget to buy the Travis Scott burger at McDonald's. Wow, you did super great, Mackenzie. I'm so proud of you. We're all so proud of you. You were a smash hit up there, Mackenzie. Wow, thanks. And because you are so popular, the E! Network would like to offer you your own reality TV show. We're thinking of calling it Making It With Mackenzie. What do you say? Oh, wow, my own reality show? You'll be a star, kid. Walking the red carpets, flying on private jets, eating the most expensive meals. You know what? I'm getting gonna have to pass. What? Why? Look, this whole celebrity thing is fun for like a day, but doing it all the time would be really exhausting. And I just want to be a kid. I hope you understand. I don't understand. But hey, if you ever change your mind, give me a call. And whatever you do, do not talk to the people over at Bravo. Adios. Sorry I didn't want to be a reality star. That's okay, Mackenzie. You'll always be my daughter no matter what you choose. Aw, you're the best, Kylie. Do you want to head home now? Sure. Now I just need to find my husband. Where is Travis? Please, someone eat the Travis Scott burger. Push me higher, Mario. Okay. Ah, uh, too high, Mario. Look, it's the ice cream truck. Yay, ice cream, Mario, Luigi. Would you guys like some ice cream? I'm a good peach. What about you, Luigi? No, thanks. Ice cream makes my farts very stinky. You go ahead, peach. Okie dokie, suit yourselves. So, Mario, when are you going to ask Peach to marry you? I was thinking about tomorrow. Thank goodness about time, Mario. I just had to wait for the perfect moment. Look at her over there looking all peachy and cute. Mamma mia, Mario, you're in love. I really am, Luigi. Hi, Mr. Ice Cream Man, sir. I would like one scoop of bubblegum ice cream, please. Hi, Princess Peach. One scoop of bubblegum ice cream coming right up. Thank you, sir. <laughs> because it's me, Bowser! Ah, Bowser, no! You're coming with me, Princess Peach! Help me! Mario, look! Princess Peach is being kidnapped by Bowser! Mamma mia, come on, Luigi! We have to go rescue her! Nice try, but you guys are too slow! Help me! He's taking her back to his castle! Let's go! Luigi, you know better than that! We can't just show up at Bowser's castle! It's too dangerous! Mamma mia, you're right, Mario! What was I thinking? We need to go home to come up with a plan! Great idea, Luigi! Come on! We don't have much time! Princess Peach needs our help! Moments later. Alright, how about this? We can light Bowser's house on fire! No, you idiot! That would hurt Princess Peach! We're trying to save her not to kill her mama mia you're right mario i am such a dummy hmm what if we throw him a pizza party to distract him while we go in and save peach mama mia luigi i swear mother must have dropped you on your head as a baby you are so stupid bowser is a turtle he doesn't eat pizza turtles are omnivores well uh, i'm all out of ideas mario oh let's just take a break and play some mario kart and we'll take you something later. Oh boy, I go being Luigi. Mamma mia, breaking the news again. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Bowser has 
officially opened up his brand new daycare. Let's go live at Bowser's Castle with my colleague, Rachel. Thank you, Laura. So, Bowser, what made you want to open up your own daycare? Well, you see, Rachel, I've always kind of been portrayed as a villain. Everyone thinking I'm a bad turtle, and then that makes me sad. I really wanted to give back to the community of Brookhaven and start my own daycare to show how good I am with children so that everyone in the city can see that deep down somewhere inside my shell I have a kind heart. Save me! Hey, Peach, get back in there right now! Yes, uh, sorry Bowser. Uh, Bowser, what was that all about? Oh, nothing. That was just Peach, uh, one of the daycare assistants. She likes to joke around, you know. Alrighty then. Well, back to you at the studio, Laura. Wow, it's so nice to see Bowser trying to make an effort to become a good turtle. Will he succeed in changing the public's perception of him? I guess we'll have to wait and see. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Mamma mia, Luigi, that's it. I got it. What the Mario, what did you get? We will go to the adoption center and adopt the child so we can send them off to Bowser's daycare to help us save a peach. Mario, you are a genius. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Later that same evening. Hello, a Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am. It's an emergency. Why, hello, gentlemen. You two look quite familiar. I just can't put my finger on it. Anyways, so what brings you guys in today? We need to adopt a child so we can use them to help us invade Bowser. Bowser's castle to save Princess Peach. <coughs> what the heck, Mario? Why did you hit me? Shut up and let me do the talking, Luigi. What my idiot brother was trying to say was that we are looking for a child to love and nurture. And of course, keep out of harm's way. We would never want to put a child in any dangerous situation that could potentially hurt them. Aw, well, isn't that sweet of you two? Come on over here and let me show you some of our options. Oh boy, are we we have options. This is like going to the ice cream store. Over here, we have Billy. He's three years old and he's looking for a loving family to call home. <coughs> you said he's a three? Yes. Well, you see, he was abandoned at birth, so he hasn't had much nurturing. Therefore, he's never learned how to speak or walk. Yeah, Mario and I will have to pass on Billy. We are looking for a child with a little more development than him. Not a problem at all. Over here we have Janice. She's 17 years old and she is very developed. Janice, we have some people here who might be interested in adopting you. Oh, hey guys. Mamma mia, you sound like a boy. Yeah, you got a problem with that? Oh, no, not a problem at all. But you're a little too old for what Luigi and I are looking for. Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am, do you have any other options? Well, we do have one last option, but I must warn you, she has been here at the adoption center for the past 10 years and no one's ever wanted to adopt her between you and me she's kind of crazy luigi and i like crazy let us meet her all right well don't say i didn't warn you right this way mackenzie mackenzie i have people here looking to meet you <laughs> mackenzie hello i'm up here Whee! faster faster mackenzie get off now what did i say about jumping on strangers backs uh you said to never do it because i have to respect people's personal bubbles that's right mackenzie and that's no way to make a first impression in front of people who might want to adopt you oh it's okay i was uh, having fun i love uh, giving piggyback rides i'm a mario by the way and i'm a luigi what's uh, your name my name's mackenzie nice to meet you mackenzie how would you like to come uh, home with me and luigi wait 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 you guys like her? This has never happened before. Usually she scares everyone off that she meets. Like her? We love her. She is exactly what Luigi and I are looking for. We will take her. Well, my golly, I never thought I'd see the day. I guess miracles do happen. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Have fun with your new family. Come on, Mackenzie. Let's get out of here. Five minutes later. Whoa, Mario, you're a really good driver. How did you become so talented? Well, you see, Luigi and I play a lot of Mario Kart in our spare time. Oh boy, can you guys teach me how to play Mario Kart? Of course, it is our favorite game. Oh look, we are home. Come on, 
Mackenzie. Let us show you inside. Whoa, this is your house? This is awesome. You haven't seen anything yet to follow us. Whoa, this place is like a secret dungeon. This is wicked. You guys must be rich. What do you do for work? Oh, uh, Luigi and I are uh, plumbers. Yes, uh, we own a plumbing company. That's what we do. Whoa, I want to be a plumber when I grow up. Oh, no, trust me, you certainly do not. You have to deal with a lot of poop. Oh, you gross, yucky. Uh, never mind, I definitely don't want to be a plumber. No offense, though. No offense taken. Come on, it's a getting later. We've had a long day. Let us show you your new room. Oh, my gosh, I get my own room and my own this is awesome! All right, good night, Mom and Dad. Uh, I mean, Dad and Dad. Good night, Mackenzie. Sweet the dreams. We will see you tomorrow. The next morning. Oh, having my own bed to sleep in is amazing. That was the best sleep of my life. Mario, Luigi. Hello, anyone here? Down here, here Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Whoa, what is this place? Welcome to our adopt a secret bunker, Agent Mackenzie. Agent Mackenzie? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Wait a second. I thought you guys were plumbers. Yes, so uh, we are a part of time of plumbers. Mackenzie, we have a super important mission that we need you to help us with. A mission? That you need my help? Oh boy, what is it? The love of my life, a Princess Peach was abducted yesterday afternoon by the evil turtle Bowser. We believe that Bowser is hiding Princess Peach inside of his castle on Eagle View. Yesterday, he opened up a day here to help fix his image so he could be portrayed as a nice turtle. And this is where you come in, Mackenzie. Oh boy, you guys want me to invade his castle, beat him up, and save Princess Peach? Uh, not exactly. We want you to go undercover to Bowser's daycare. Since you are a child, it won't be suspicious at all. Once you are in, we need you to find where Bowser has locked up Princess Peach. You will then distract Bowser while Luigi and I come and break you out. So, uh, Mackenzie, are you up for the challenge? Am I up for it? It's the best thing anyone's ever asked me to do. Mamma mia, fantastico. All right, uh, Mackenzie, put these sunglasses on. Wait, why do I have to wear sunglasses? They aren't uh, just any sunglasses, Mackenzie. These are special secret agent spy glasses. They uh, come with a built-in microphone and a headset so we will be able to communicate with you while you are inside enemy territories. Bowser is a so stupid that he won't even suspect a thing. This is so cool. I've seen these same glasses in the movie Spy Kids. Okay, Mackenzie, it's time for you to head out. Wait, you guys aren't coming with me? I am sorry, Mackenzie, but Luigi and I have to stay here so we can monitor everything. We will see you later, though. Good luck. The fate of Princess Peach's life is in your hands. Don't worry, Mario and Luigi. I won't let you guys down. Moments later. All right, I think this is the right place. Hello? What do you want? Oh, uh, my mom had to go to work, so she dropped me off here because she said you had a daycare. Oh, yes. Come in, little girl. Follow me. All right, stand here, and whatever you do, do not come out. I'll be back later with snacks. Uh, okay. Roger, Mario, and Luigi, I'm in. You'd be a great to work at. Do you see Princess Peach anywhere? That's a negative. Bowser put me in a room with another child. All right, then. We'll try to look around the house to find the Princess Peach. Uh, we are counting on you. Aye, aye, Captain. I won't let you guys down. Uh, why are you talking to yourself? Oh, I'm not talking to myself. That would be weird. I'm talking to my dad. Huh? How are you talking to them? I didn't see you holding a phone or anything. Well, that's because I'm using these super spiffy spy glasses. It comes with a built-in microphone and headset so I don't look suspicious. Whoa, are you like a secret agent or something? Yup, my name's Secret Agent Mackenzie. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's Sky. Do you need Sidekick? Whoa, now that you mention it, I'd love a sidekick. Awesome. So what are you doing here, Mackenzie? Well, Bowser abducted a girl that my dad really likes, Princess Peach, and he's hiding her somewhere here in the castle. So I'm here to break her out. I knew it. Huh? Knew what? I knew Bowser was bad news. I tried convincing my mom that he was an evil looking turtle. But my mom started going off about how not to judge a turtle by its shell. Parents always think they know what's right. I wish they would listen to us kids sometimes. That's what I've been saying! Alright, Skye, how are we gonna distract Bowser so I can leave this room and search for Peach? Hmm, I got it! I'll hide somewhere in this room and when Bowser comes to bring us snacks, you'll tell him that I ran away to go get some ice cream! Could you imagine how bad it would look on him if the public found out he lost a kid? That's genius, Skye! He would for sure go out looking 
looking for you. And that would give us enough time to search the house. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna go hide behind the table. You know what to do, right? Yes, guy, let's do it. Moments later. Who wants snacks? Me, me, me. Wait, where's the little redhead girl who was here with you? Oh, you mean Sky? Yeah, she mentioned something about escaping to the ice cream store. <gasps> she escaped? Oh, dear. If the media finds out a girl has gone missing from my daycare, I'll never be able to fix my image of her again. You stay here. I'm going to go out and find her. Great idea, Mr. Bowser Man. Good luck. Psst. Sky, the coast is clear. That was so awesome, McKenzie. Paging Mario and Luigi, the turtle has left its shell. I repeat, the turtle has left its shell. Mamma mia, Mackenzie, wow, you are a natural. Now quickly, go and find the page before Bowser comes home. Yes, Mario, I'm on it. All right, Sky, you search downstairs and I'll search upstairs. Yell if you find anything. Got it. All right, Princess Peach, where did Bowser hide you? Sky, did you find anything? No, I haven't found anything yet. That's okay, just keep looking. Help me, somebody help me. That sounded like Peach. Peach, I'm coming for you. Hi, who are you? Don't worry, I'm one of the good guys. Mario and Luigi sent me here to save you. Oh, Mario, I knew he would do something. Mario, Luigi, I found her upstairs in the bathroom. Come quick before Bowser gets home. Mamma mia, I cannot believe you found her. Mario and I will be there right away. A blaze of meat is outside with a friend as Peach. All right, Peach, come with me. Mario and Luigi will meet us outside. Oh, thank you so much, Mackenzie, for coming to save me. How will I ever repay you? Oh, don't worry about that. I'm just doing my job. Now, come on. Let's get out of here. Oh, you found her. Yeah, no thanks to you. What are you doing? Whoops, I just got really hungry, and I really can't do anything when all I can think about is food. Whatever. The important thing is that we found Peach. Now, come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Mario. Peach. Luigi. I knew you would come for me, Mario. Of course. I would never leave you like that. Princess Peach, I have loved you ever since the first day I laid my eyes upon you. Will you marry me? Yes, yes, Mario. I thought you were never going to ask. I'm uh, not to poop on your parade, but you know that Bowser is going to be back any second, right? You're right. Come on, now, everyone. Let's get out of here and go home to a celebrate. Hey, Sky, want to come home and celebrate with us? I would love to. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Mrs. Assistant Lady Ma'am, how is it looking for me in the upcoming Brookhaven election? Well, Mr. Ronald Sumser, things aren't looking too good right now. You're currently in second place. The people in Brookhaven are getting tired of the controversial tweets you've been making. Uh, maybe I should just delete my Twitter account. I think that would be a wise decision, sir. It's just until the elections are over, at least. Anyways, what's on my schedule for today? Well, Mr. Mayor, we will be arriving back in Brookhaven in about five Five minutes. Then you will have an interview with Laura from the Brookhaven News at 12, followed by a lunch with George, the police chief, to discuss the safety of the community. Ugh, do I have to do all of these? I just want to go home and play Roblox. Yes, Mr. Ronald Stump, sir. It's part of your duty as the mayor of Brookhaven. Haha, <laughs> you said duties. Ugh, Ronald Stump, you are so immature. We have arrived in Brookhaven. You may now unfasten your seatbelt and exit the plane. Mr. Mayor, let me escort you out. Thank you, Henry. Follow me, sir. The police chief is just out front ready to take you back to your office, sir. His vehicle is bulletproof, so there is nothing for you to be worried about. Great, Henry. You are the best bodyguard I've ever had. My pleasure, sir. Right this way now. Hello, George. Nice to see you. We meet again, Mr. Ronald Stump. <laughs> ah, Jim, what are you doing here? I'm here to kill you once and for all. No! <laughs> I'm still alive! Henry, you saved my life! <coughs> Just doing my job, Mr. Mayor. Please, take care of my daughter for me. Henry wants me to take care of his daughter? Who does he think I am? I'm the mayor of Brookhaven, not a babysitter. I hate kids. Well, Mr. Mayor, adopting a child might be beneficial for the upcoming election. I think it would help raise your odds of being reelected. If the voters see that you're a family man. You really think so, huh? How hard could it be taking care of a child anyways? All right, take me to her. Right away, sir. Meanwhile. Hmm, my daddy said he would be home an hour ago. I wonder what's going on. Oh, he's probably just having dinner with the mayor. Don't worry, Kenzie. I'm sure he'll be home soon. Huh? I wonder who that is. Hello? Come in. Hello, Mr. Mayor, your majesty, sir. Mr. Ronald Stump, sir. Where's my dad? Uh, little girl, I'm not. 
not sure how to tell you this, but your father is dead. But on the bright side, he died as a hero, protecting me in the city of Brookhaven. <gasps> my, my, my dad's dead? Yes, he jumped in front of me and took a bullet for me. I'm sorry for your loss, little lady. But, but who's gonna look after me now? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate when children cry. Do I have to do this? Do you want to be reelected or not? Uh, fine, but after I get reelected, I'm sending her straight back to the adoption center. All right, stop crying, child. Don't worry. I, Ronald Stump, the mayor of Brookhaven, will be adopting you. If that's okay with you, of course. <gasps> Can I have a second to talk to my best friend here? We don't make any big decisions without consulting each other first. Uh, okay, sure, but make it quick. I'm wasting enough time as it is. I've got important mayor things to do. Oh my god, Kenzie! Should I say yes? Of course you should. It's not every day you get to live with the mayor. You'll be the most powerful kid in all of Brookhaven. You do have a point. Technically, I can do whatever I want every day. Okay, I'll do it. After consulting with my best friend, we have decided that you can adopt me. Oh, yippee. Woohoo. What an honor. Now, come on. Hop in my limo. My assistant will take us home. Bye, girly. Call me tomorrow. Bye, Sky. See you later. Later that same evening. Whoa. Should I say dad? Yes, this is my house. It is very expensive, so please be careful and do not touch anything. So, like, are there any rules in this house? There is only one rule in this house, and you cannot go downstairs into the basement. Oh, okay, dad. I promise I won't go in the basement. Okay, good. Now go upstairs and go to bed. I have a very busy day tomorrow. Okay, good night, dad. Love you. You love me? You literally just met me. The following day. Good morning, Mackenzie. Good morning, Dad. What are we going to do today? Can we hang out all day? You can show me all the cool mayor things you do. Sorry, Mackenzie. I wish I could hang out with you, but it's election time right now, and I am very busy trying to get reelected. If I don't get reelected, I'm going to be very sad. Oh, don't worry, Dad. I'll vote for you. You're too young to vote, you imbecile. Oh, well, if I was old enough i'd vote for you uh, it doesn't matter anyways i gotta go now just behave yourself around the house okay can i invite my friend sky over yeah yeah sure whatever i gotta go see ya bye dad see you later alligator <laughs> hey sky wanna come over my dad just went to the office he's doing a mayor thing so i have the entire house to myself oh boy would i ever i've always wanted to see what the mayor's house looks like i'll be there right away perfect see you soon girl Moments later. I'm here! Whoa, Sky, that was fast! I told you I'd be here right away. Now come on, give me a house to run the house! Alright, this is my bedroom. This is the refrigerator. Whoa, there's so much food in it! And this is my hot tub! Cannonball! And that's the whole house! Wait, you forgot to show me downstairs, girly! Oh no, Sky, we can't go down there. Ronald Stump said specifically not to go downstairs. My father's command. Hmm, that seems very sus to me. What could he possibly be hiding down there that he doesn't want us to see? I don't know. It's probably just private mayor stuff, Sky. You know these politicians. There's a lot of things they can't show us. Okay, Kenzie, I guess you're right. Well, why don't we go get some ice cream? Good idea, Sky. Come on, let's go. Mmm, this ice cream is delicious. Hey, the mayor's office is right here. Want to go say hi to my dad? election. You have fallen into third place. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Assistant, ma'am. I have one more trick up my sleeves. It is hidden in my basement right now, but when the time is right, I will reveal it to the city of Brookhaven. Then they will think I am a hero for my discovery. <gasps> oh my gosh, Kenzie, did you hear that? What could he be possibly hiding in the basement? I don't know, but now I'm really curious. Come on, we gotta go back to your house. We need to see what's in that basement. Okay, Scott, are you sure we should go down there? My dad's gonna be really upset if he finds out I broke his one and only rule. Kenzie, it's okay. We'll just go down there to find out what he's hiding in the basement. And then we'll come back upstairs and pretend like nothing ever happened. Your dad will not even know we were down there. Okay, Sky, I guess you're right. Just promise me. No one will ever know we were down there. I promise, girly. Come on, now let's go. Huh? It doesn't even look like there's anything here, Sky. Come on, let's check this room over here, Kenzie. Who are you? My name's Jeff. I'm from Outer Galactic Space. 
peace. Whoa! Do you come in peace? Why is your friend talking like that? Oh, I watched the alien movie E.T. and that's how they talk in it. Uh, Hollywood and their stereotypes always making us aliens look like we're dumb. We're actually smarter than humans, you know. So, Jeff, how did you get here? Well, five years ago, my spaceship crashed in Brookhaven and your father, Ronald Stump, found me. I thought he was going to help me get back to outer space, but he's locked me in this basement ever since. Oh my gosh, why is he keeping you here? Why won't he let you go home, Jeff? He said he's using me to help him get re-elected. He's trying to brainwash the people of Brookhaven into thinking that he's the one who discovered aliens on Earth. Oh my gosh, that is terrible! I don't know what I would do if I couldn't see my mommy for five years! You must miss your family so much, Jeff! Yes, I haven't heard from my family ever since I crashed. They probably think I'm dead. Uh... I miss my mommy so much! <laughs> Jeff, I'm so sorry my dad did this to you. I didn't know Ronald Stump was so evil. I promise, me and Sky will get you out of here, okay? But me and Sky weren't even supposed to know that you were down here, so we'll figure out something and then come back for you, okay? And if Ronald Stump asks, don't say anything about us, please. Okay, sure, guys, thank you. I just really want to get back to my home and see my family. See you later, Mr. Alien Man, sir. We'll come back for you, I promise. Okay, Sky, let's go to my room so we can make a plan on how we're gonna free Jeff. Hmm, it seems like the two little girls forgot to lock the door. Jeff, this is the moment you've been waiting for. But I promised those girls I would stay put. Man, promises are meant to be broken. I'm out of here. All right, it looks like there's a clear path to the front door. Those girls must be upstairs. I'm gonna make a break for it. Right on! Did you just hear that? Hear what, Sky? I could have sworn I heard someone yell freedom. Uh, I didn't hear anything. I must be hearing things then. Later that night. Hey guys, I'm home. Dad, hey! Good evening, Mr. Ronald Stump, sir. Excuse me, you two, but I just have to go downstairs for a second and check up on something. If you would excuse me. Yeah, of course, Dad. Do whatever you have to do. Psst, Kenzie, you remember the plan? Okay, don't be mad, Sky, but I kind of forgot. Can you remind me again? Uh, Kenzie, you gotta start remembering these things. Anyways, we're gonna go downstairs and take a picture of your dad with the alien so we can send it to the authorities. Oh, yeah, right, got it. Oh, where is it? Mackenzie! Sky! Uh-oh. Did you two go downstairs? It was her idea. Mackenzie made me do it. I tried to convince her not to, but she just really wanted to see the alien. Wait, what? This was your idea. You dimwits. You couldn't have at least locked the door when you came upstairs? Now the alien Escaped. Wait, there was a lock on the door? Yes, you idiot! Oh my gosh, this is a disaster! We have to find that alien before the media gets a hold of this! I will lose any shot I have at being reelected! <laughs> Oh, Poop, this is bad. Let's go live with my colleague, Rachel, who is standing with Mr. Alien Man himself. Thank you, Laura. I'm standing here with Jeff the Alien. Jeff, tell us how you got to Brookhaven. Well, you see, Rachel, five years ago, my spacecraft crashed into the hills of Brookhaven. Someone who I thought was a kind man came to my rescue. Little did I know he was going to kidnap me and lock me in his basement until today. That man is none other than your beloved mayor, Mr. Ronald Stump. <gasps> Ronald Stump has kept you locked up in the basement for the past five years? Oh, this is some juicy news. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Ronald Stump is an alien abuser. Back to you at the studio, Laura. Wow, this is really gonna affect Ronald Stump's run for re-election. I wouldn't be surprised if he was arrested for alien abuse. What else is the government hiding from us? This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Oh, this is worse than I ever imagined. I need to get out of the city immediately before the police find me. FBI, open up! Ronald Stump, I am placing you under arrest for alien abuse and for the murder of Mackenzie Turner's father. <gasps> Wait, what are you talking about? I didn't murder her father. Yes, you're right, but you hired someone to murder him because Mackenzie's father was the only one other than you who knew the alien in your basement and because of that you had to get rid of him is this true ronald stump 
Yes, this is true. Your father was gonna expose my secret to the world, so I had to get him removed. Thanks for admitting it, Ronald Stump. You just made my job a lot easier. You're coming with me. Oh, and also, Mackenzie, according to the Brookhaven City rulebook, if a mayor gets arrested, the position gets passed down to the oldest member in the family. And since you're the only member of the Ronald Stump family, that makes you the new mayor of Brookhaven? Yes, congratulations, Mayor Mackenzie. All right, I gotta go take Ronald Stump to prison now. See ya! Yeah! Oh my gosh, my best friend's the mayor of Brookhaven! We're home! Mom, Dad, I'm so glad you guys are home! How was Mackenzie today, Lucy? Oh, she was just great. Such a well-behaved daughter. I would love to babysit again. Yeah, I really like Lucy. Can she please babysit again? Well, Lucy, if our daughter likes you, then we would gladly have you back to babysit again. Great, see you guys next time. Oh, the sun is so bright. I need to put my sunglasses on. <sighs> my mom and dad are going to be so happy that I found my next victim. <laughs> I'm home. Lucy, did you come home with good news? Yes, mother. I found our next victim, but we need to eliminate her parents. What should we do this time? Honey, can you stop eating our son and help us think? <laughs> Oh, uh, fine. So, how should we get rid of the parents for our next victim? Hmm, what about a car crash? Man, we just did that for our last victim's parents. Okay, okay, fair. What if we poison them? Uh, we've done that one like a hundred times already. Uh, you're right, you're right. It's getting kind of boring. Hmm, what if we burn them alive? Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. This is why I married you. Okay, great. Tomorrow, when little Mackenzie goes to school, we'll set her house on fire and watch her parents burn alive then we will pretend to adopt her and then your father and i can feast on her blood <laughs> <laughs> all right now where were we <laughs> the next day mackenzie turner please report down to the principal's office mackenzie what did you do? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I did anything. Okay, that's kind of strange. Hmm, I wonder why he's calling me. Hello, Mr. Principal Man, sir. Mackenzie, please have a seat. Uh, okay, but what's wrong? I don't know how to tell you this, but your house has caught on fire and both of your parents were inside. Excuse me, I'm sorry. This is so tragic. <laughs> Wait, what? My house on fire? Where's my parents? Are they okay? I am not sure if your parents made it out alive. <laughs> what? You're joking, right? Mom! Dad! No, 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 no. This cannot be happening. Oh my gosh, no. Mom! Dad! This can't be happening. Dad? Oh my god, are they gonna be okay? Are these your parents? I am so sorry, little girl. No, Mom! Dad! It seems as though they have passed away. <laughs> A fire? That is so tragic. I feel so bad. You poor little girl. Of course she can stay with us, Lucy. Yes, your mother and I will eat her very well. Uh, I mean, uh, treat her very well. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, you guys have fun. I've got to go babysit again tonight. Bye. Bye, Mackenzie. See you maybe later. Bye, Lucy. See you later. Come with us, Mackenzie. Let us show you to your room. That's so sweet. Thank you? Whoa, this room's so nice. Do you like it? Is it big enough for you? We just want to make you happy. It's perfect, even bigger than my old room. Ah, oh, thank gosh. We are happy to hear you like it. All right, we will let you settle in now. See you later. Uh, well, this really sucks, but at least I have some really nice new parents. 
Hello? Hi, Mackenzie. I'm so sorry about what happened to your parents. That's so sad. Yeah, I'm really sad too. But my babysitter's family just adopted me, so hopefully they'll be as nice to me as my old mommy and daddy were. I can't wait to meet your new family. Yeah, me too. All right, I gotta go now. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'll see you soon, girly. Mackenzie just looks so tasty. I wanted to just bite her. We have to be patient, remember, honey? We will get to eat her soon. Ugh, when are we gonna have our feast tonight? When she goes to sleep tonight, you and I will sneak into her room and drink her blood when she least expects it. <laughs> Later that night. Now, I think I'm gonna head off to bed now, guys. Thanks again for adopting me. You guys are awesome. All right, see you tomorrow. Have a great sleep, Mackenzie, because it will be your last. <laughs> Do you think she's asleep yet? I hear some snores coming from her room. Huh? Girl snore? Yes, you idiot. All right, now come on. I'm starving. Shh. All right, here we go. <gasps> so is at the door! Mom? Dad? What are you guys doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, honey. We forgot to tuck you in. Yeah, we just wanted to come say goodnight to our new daughter. Oh, that's so sweet of you guys, but I don't need to be tucked in anymore. I'm a big girl now. Come on, let's go see who's at the door. Uh, who could possibly be at the door at this hour of the day? I'm sure it's nothing, honey. We can have our feast after. Come on, let's go see who it is. Oh my god, Sky! hey! Mackenzie, hi! Come on in, Sky. Huh? Who's this? Mom, Dad, this is my best friend, Sky. Hey, girly, I felt so terrible about what happened today, so I brought you flowers. Aw, girl, that's so sweet of you, but you didn't have to come here so late at night. Yeah, you really didn't have to come this late. Yeah, I know, but I was having trouble sleeping tonight because I couldn't stop thinking about how you were doing. Oh my gosh, Sky, that's so sweet. Well, since you're here already, maybe you should just sleep over. Oh my gosh, girl. That would be way cool. But, like, only if your parents agree. I don't want to intrude or anything. You know, like, tonight really isn't a good night. Mackenzie just moved in here. You should probably let your friends settle in first. Yeah, I guess your parents are right. I could just come back tomorrow or something. Mom, Dad, please. It would make me so happy. Girls, give your father and I a moment to discuss, okay? Okay, okay, talk quick. Are you crazy? I haven't eaten in so long. I'm starving. We cannot have our friend sleep over tonight. You think I'm not starving too? Just hear me out, okay? So, I just read an article on BuzzFeed that when kids are happy, their blood tastes sweeter. I mean, you remember the last boy we ate, right? His blood was so sour. Oh, uh, that makes sense. I mean, he was very stressed out. Exactly! So, if we let Mackenzie have fun with her friend, we can have a great meal tomorrow. Ugh, fine, honey. But tomorrow, we feast. So, can she? Can she? Okay, girls, after further consideration, we've decided your friend can stay the night here. But on one condition. We want to hear lots of laughs and fun coming from you guys. Yay! Slumber party! You guys are the best. Thank you. Come on, Sky. Let me show you my room. Whoa, your room's huge. Yeah, and this bed, it's humongo. Come on, girly. Let's play some Roblox. The next morning. Sky, that sleepover was way fun. I had a blast. This house is awesome. All right, bye. Maybe I'll see you later. Thanks for having me over, guys. Yay, that was so much fun. Thanks, guys. So she's gone now? For good? She won't be coming back today? Yep, she's not coming back today. And are you expecting anyone else to come by today? Mm, nope, no one at all. So what you're saying is we are finally all alone. Yup, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Doing a fun game? <laughs> Ooh, someone's at the door! Hey, I forgot my teddy bear! Whoa, are you guys having a group hug? Can I join? Group hug, yay! Oh yeah, Sky, I think your teddy bear's up in my room. Come on! Ah, here it is! I can't go to sleep without you, Mr. Teddy Bear! Ugh, we were so close. Her dumb little friend had to ruin everything once again. Alright, she got her teddy bear. Mackenzie, it's such a nice day outside today. We should like totally go get ice cream. Oh my god, that's totally a great idea. Mom, Dad, can you please drive us to get ice cream? No, sorry, we cannot. We were planning on going to sleep. Sleep? It's morning time. Yes, uh, we drank a lot of coffee last night. Yeah, we couldn't fall asleep, unfortunately. Ah, okay, that makes 
make sense. My parents say coffee turns people into vampires. Huh? Vampires? What? No, no, we are not. Oh, no, no, no. It's just a saying because vampires like to stay up all night and coffee makes you stay up late. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Of course, you're right. Mom, Dad, can you please drive us to the ice cream store? It'd be so much quicker rather than us walking. Quicker, you say? That means you will be home faster? Which means Sky can leave earlier? Yup, that's exactly what it means. Oh, yes, quicker, yes, of course. Let's go then. Your uh, father and I just have to go put on our outfits. Yay, ice cream, ice cream. Jump in the car. Come on, Sky, hop in the back with me. How come there's no seatbelt in this car? Hmm, I don't know. Ugh, why is it so bright out today? I know, it's so nice out. Maybe next week we can go to the beach together. Uh, yeah, maybe. All right, we're here. Go get your stupid ice cream. Yay, okay. You guys coming? Uh, no. You guys go ahead. Uh, your father and I don't like ice cream. All right. Suit yourself. Mackenzie, your parents are acting really weird. What do you mean? Well, first of all, they said they don't like ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? Come on. It's okay to not like ice cream. Yeah, okay, I guess. But also, look at them. They're both wearing sunglasses and hoods on their head. It's like so hot outside today. And they're all dressed in black. I don't know, Kenzie. There's just something off about your new parents. I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, come on, Sky. You're thinking too deep into it. It's okay if they like different things than we do. Not everyone is like us, Sky. Okay, whatever you say, Mackenzie, but I'm not gonna let my guard down around them. <laughs> okay, come on, Sky. Let's just go home and finish our ice cream. Ah, perfect. The sun is almost setting. Let's go home. All right, are you guys happy now? You had your sleepover. You got your stupid teddy bear. And we went and got your ice cream. Is there anything else you guys need? Hmm. We're good, right, Kenzie? Mm, yeah, we should be good. Excellent. Okay, Sky, it's time for you to go home then. We want some alone time with our daughter. Yeah, you're right. I should probably go hang out with my mom too. Wait a minute. Sky, Kissing Booth 3 just came out. Okay, we literally have to watch it. Oh my god, no way, girl. We must. My mom can wait. OMG, OMG, this is gonna be so good. Oh my goodness. After the show, you must leave, okay? Okay, yeah, I promise. Ugh, come on, let's go upstairs. Ooh, did he just kiss her? This popcorn is making me so thirsty. I'm gonna go get some water. Okay, hurry back. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Huh? What's that noise coming from upstairs? Uh, I think it's Mackenzie's parents. Ooh, I'm gonna go eavesdrop on them. Ugh, honey, I don't know if I can take this anymore. I am starving. I haven't had human blood for days. Mackenzie's stupid little friend keeps getting in the way. Ugh, it's okay. Tonight is the night. No matter what, we will make sure... Sure, we have Mackenzie all to ourselves tonight. Then we can finally feast! Ugh, okay, I am getting really impatient. Achoo! What was that? <gasps> Uh-oh! Come back here, you little twerp! Mackenzie, Mackenzie, I have to tell you something! What? What's wrong? <gasps> what she was gonna tell you was that her mom just called your father and I and asked for her to come home immediately. Isn't that right, Sky? Uh, yes, Mr. and Mrs. Vampire Sir, I mean Mackenzie's parents. Aw, that sucks. We were just getting to the best part of the movie. Allow us to drive you home, Sky. Wow, that's so nice of you guys to offer to drive her home. Bye, have fun at dinner, Sky. See you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, bye, Mackenzie. See you tomorrow. If you're still, like, alive or something. <laughs> What's she talking about? We'll be right back, Mackenzie. Stay put. Why is everyone acting so weird all the time? Get out, Sky. Uh, thanks for the, uh, ride. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be here while Mackenzie might be getting eaten by vampires. I can't just let this happen to my best friend. I have to go back to warn her. Mackenzie, I'm coming for you. Hey, where do you think you're going? Can't talk right now, Mom. Go to save Mackenzie from vampires. Erg, we are finally home. It's dinner time, Mackenzie, and we are starving. Oh, I'm so hungry, too. What are we having? Maybe pizza? How about you sit on the floor here and close your eyes? Your mother and I have a surprise for you. Eep, I love surprises. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. My new parents are so cool. Okay, I'm ready. Keep those eyes closed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are we even surprised at this point? Who the heck could it be? Oh my gosh, who could that be? Whoa, guys, those are some sick capes. All right, let me go check the door. Oh my God, no way, mom. Mom, Dad, I thought you guys died in the fire. We just got out of the hospital today. The doctor said it was a miracle we survived.
survived. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you guys are alive. Come on, honey, let's go home. We missed you so much. Thank you guys for looking after me. I had so much fun with you guys. Come on, let's go, mom and dad. What the heck just happened? Hey, mom and dad. I got great news, guys. I found your next victim. Wait a second. Did you guys eat Mackenzie without me? Uh, no, we didn't eat her because her parents just came back to pick her up. Did you not make sure to check if they were actually dead? But there's no way they could have survived that fire. Meanwhile... I'm gonna save you, Mackenzie! Here goes nothing! Okay, I'll just sneak through the back door. Take this, vampires! Activate blinds! Let them be light! Vampires. My work here is done.